Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thanks for asking. Oh, I'm Jordan, it's nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too, Jordan. I'm Sultan from Saudi Arabia. Oh, I'm from the US and Minnesota. Oh, okay, great. So, uh, Jordan is also a name of a Muslim country. Yes. Have you ever been? No, I have never. I have so, not either. So, uh, how did you get this name? Um, uh, my parents, I don't really know why they named me that. Okay. Is there any particular meaning of your name? Um... Not for my family, no. Okay. Okay. Right. And so, what about you? Mm -hmm. Your name? Uh, my name, oh, uh, so my name is Sultan. And uh, I'm originally from Pakistan, but I live in Saudi Arabia. I have a jo job away here. And it has been almost three years since I came to Saudi Arabia. Oh, wow. How do you like it? Yes, it's cool. Uh, it's good living over here. And uh, the lifestyle over here is pretty much relaxed. Uh, better than my own country. So I like living over here. That's good. Are, are you living in the capital, right? Uh, no, it's not Riyadh. It's uh, Al Khubar. Where? Al Khubar, it's the it's in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia, and uh, it's just next to Bahrain. Okay, can you type the name of it? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I wanna search it. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, have you ever been to Saudi Arabia? No, I haven't. Mm, okay. Is it easy to travel to? Or do I yes. need like a visa? Yes, it is. But these days, you know, uh, things are pretty much complicated. So I'm not sure about what is happening these days. But before that, it's easy. Like, uh, we are just next to UAE, Dubai. I think, um, I think they're open for travel. Dubai? Yeah. Ah, okay. Right. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, things are getting like uh, almost back to normal. So uh, flights from Pakistan and India were banned previously. So recently they have lifted the ban. Oh, okay. Yes. So have you, have you traveled mm -hmm. back home in the past three years? Uh, yes, I went in 2020 january when i had vacation but after that uh like after uh coming over here in two to three months there was a lockdown and i was not able to go back again uh, are do you hope to go back soon uh, maybe in june july let's see if things are okay so yeah. I will definitely go. What is there to do in Al Kobar? What is there to do? What does it mean? Like, um, what can I do if I visit Al Kobar? Okay, what places can you visit over here? Um, what, or what kind of work can you do? What can I do, like? Uh, go to the beach, go to a museum, see historical places? Uh, I think we do not have historical places, but yes, we have Cornish, seaside, very beautiful. And Saudi Arabia is very clean, peaceful. So you can come over here and if you wish to see deserts, so you will definitely see them. Do you think that 
you will live in Saudi Arabia for a long time or do you want to move back to Pakistan? So uh, I want to live here forever. But the problem is that uh, there is no job security. So that is the reason I cannot say anything that what will happen in the future. Oh, okay. Yeah. And is um, any of your family living in Saudi Arabia with you? Yes, my wife is with me. Uh, how long have you been together? Uh, for five years. Oh, well. Have you traveled to any other cities in Saudi Arabia? Uh, yes, I went to two different cities. Uh, no, four different cities, yes. Which cities? So uh, it was like uh, Makkah, Medina, and uh, Katif. Okay. And the mom is just next to us. So these four cities. And uh, Makkah is uh, where you, you, you must have seen a black square, the house of God. Allah. Oh, okay. How was visiting there? It was awesome. And uh, Medina, I personally like visiting Medina because it is very peaceful. And when you are there, you feel that you are somewhere else. It's not a part of the world. Wow. I think I read online that to go to Mecca, you uh, you can only go if you are Muslim. I'm not sure about it. Maybe. <laughs> but I I, uh, I think I have seen some videos where uh, like non-Muslim uh, vloggers on YouTube, I watch those videos. They oh. just showed Makkah and Medina. So I think maybe uh, non-Muslims can also visit. Oh, maybe it was just um, old information. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> if I were to go to Saudi Arabia, where would you recommend? Hmm. Uh, so, uh, there actually, I have never like visited different places because I'm kind of a person who keep myself to myself. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. want to like to, uh, go out very often. So uh, I, I'm not sure there are different places which are famous, but, uh, yes, uh, there is Cornish where I go sometimes. Uh, this is a seaside. So, uh, how have you been doing with pandemic? Um, with what? How have you been doing with pandemic? Uh, with the pandemic? Um, when the pandemic started, I was in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And then I flew back home and was in lockdown for a couple months. And then right. I went to England and then was in, I was in lockdown in England for a couple months. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I flew back home and then I went to Mexico to get away from the lockdowns. <laughs> wow. But um, now it's kind of okay. I think half people are vaccinated. Uh, you don't need to wear masks in the store. Right. And what about you? Yeah, uh, life here is like almost back to normal. And uh, we do wear masks. We uh, observe social distancing. We, we take precautionary measures. And uh, most of the people over here are vaccinated. So shops and everything is open. Even the in, uh, number of infected people is decreasing day by day. That's so, good. yeah. Uh, you, you yes, I'm please. Sorry. Go ahead. I was going to ask you that you were in Vietnam for what? For a job uh, or something? Yes. Yeah, I used to teach English in Vietnam for a wow. year. Wow. Wow. 
uh, I just want to ask you about uh, the teaching jobs in Vietnam. So, yeah. uh, can non-native speakers teach over there? Can what? Can non-native speakers teach in Vietnam? Yeah, they can, but it is um, a little harder to find a job. Mm -hmm. But there are opportunities for non-native speakers. Right. Okay. I have, um, yeah, I've met teachers from all over Europe and South America. And since um, El Cobar is so close to Bahrain, have you been? No, I have never got a chance to go over there. Um, I wanted to go there, but due to COVID-19 and the situation, I didn't go. Is, um, would, do you take a boat or can you drive? No, it's very near. There is a bridge which connects Saudi Arabia to Bahrain. And uh, it only takes like 30 to 40 minutes to get there. Oh, from that it's bridge. so tiny. Oh, uh, yes, Bahrain is very small, yes. And Qatar, too. Even there are some people who, ha uh, who live in Bahrain, but they have jobs in Saudi Arabia. Uh, they keep commuting. Oh, wow. I don't really know anything about Bahrain. So Bahrain is not uh, like Saudi Arabia. There are no restrictions. Although it's an Islamic country, but you will find a lot of foreigners over there and bars as well and uh, things. But I have never been there, so I don't know. Uh, people tell me that it's very modern. Are there many bars in Al Khobar? No. In Saudi Arabia, there are no bars. And uh, alcohol is prohibited over here. Uh, maybe the foreigners, they can have it, but uh, not in open places. They can do it at their homes. Oh, okay. Is that the same in Pakistan? Uh, yes. Um, in most of the Muslim countries, uh, it is not allowed to have alcohol. And uh, in Pakistan as well. But in Pakistan, you know, things are uh, like, if you have money, so you can do anything. So, but uh, normally, you cannot have alcohol outside your home and openly you oh. will get arrested afterwards you will uh, you can like yeah bribe yes you can bribe them <laughs> so have you ever tried alcohol no i have never and i don't even want to because i even don't like to smoke i don't know why people do it yeah i don't like the taste so the alcohol is the same i don't think so that it is sweet and something so that's why so if you can drink in bahrain bahrain and uh, is it a muslim country yes it is a muslim country but unfortunately you can do everything over there <laughs> yes i wonder why that is i'm not sure like in dubai you can see in dubai as well you can do anything uh, it is also a part of a Muslim country, UAE, United Arab Emirates. So, yeah. But I think Dubai would be cool to see, but very expensive, I think. <laughs> yes, it is. And even Saudi Arabia is getting expensive day by day. Really? Yeah. How much would you say a meal costs in Saudi Arabia? Okay. So it depends what you're going to eat. So the normal meal, maybe it is for 30 real 